five year olds how to be gay. This is an agenda. And it doesn't matter how many times whites run up the white flag. It doesn't matter how many times we commit suicide culturally. And it's never good enough because the globalists want everyone homogenized and no culture. There's no black culture in this country. There's CIA created hip hop gangster culture declassified on record to destroy those people. Look at the great society of LBJ and what it did to blacks from less than 10% illegitimacy to 90 plus percent. This isn't my opinion that Margaret Sanger said all this 90 years ago. It isn't my opinion LBJ said all this. My crew just searched LBJ talking about co-opting co the N-words. You can pull up all his letters to members of the House and Senate. You can pull up the National Archive letters of Margaret Sanger, and they've done it. There's a reason the Rockefellers and Rothschilds are in charge. There's a reason Cord, Ford and Carnegie endowments are in charge, because they're ruthless, folks. And so you're going to lose your guns. You're going to lose your private property. And while we're all busy fighting with each other over what color we are, while all this is happening, the globalists are destroying every future dream we have across the board, and you've got Obama openly acting as a dictator and the Republican leadership doing nothing about it. Uh, you've got Europe being completely overrun with immigrants uh, who are then turned into political groups. I've had members of parliament on from England where most of the social workers are foreigners, literally taking the UK children. I mean, this is a plan. These are like foreign mercenaries. And I'm not demonizing immigrants individually. The globalist CU is like a German soldier a Hessian mercenary brought here uh, in 1776 on big ships to wage war on the colonies. You are a political, cultural weapon. And hey, when the minorities who are really the majority in most area, and then and the whites are in, you know, on average a completely aging group, I mean, whites will be like 20% of the population in 30 years, and it won't matter. They will always be the enemy. They will always be attacked because that's how they're going to organize the majority that's, quote, minority, to then follow all the tyranny and live in squalor and have no freedom is because it doesn't matter. There'll always be a white pinata to slap around and attack and urinate on. So that's where all this is going. That's the attempt. And it is, it, it, it's all happening. You notice the globals are doing everything right now because they know that the entire population is waking up to Obamacare being a scam and waking up to the Federal Reserve being private, and they know the numbers show, quote, minorities are beginning to wake up to things and becoming more libertarian. If that continues another 10, 20 years, they could lose. We could actually educate all these folks. We could educate all the whites uh, about the left-right paradigm, but we don't have that time. And so the globalists are racing right now to get their agenda through. And, and I'm just going to say this calmly. Imagine any other nation that had conservatively 25 million illegals, probably 30 plus. They always say 11 to 14. The last eight times they tried to pass this same bill. They did it under Bush, uh, what, uh, five times. They've done it under uh, Obama, three or four times. Maybe it's nine times. This is the ninth try, is it? And I want you to think about that because the country is already collapsing economically. And... If you legalize all these illegals, and in the last bill we saw, let them then bring their families in. We're talking about another 30 million in just a decade. And, and, and then it's expected. Food stamps, welfare, don't wear American flags on your shirt. That's hurtful at the San Francisco school. Even Hispanic kids can't wear American flags. Uh, I mean, this is all that we're taught. We're being overwritten. We're being totally conquered, and not by Mexico that's totally collapsed into hellhole squalor, the worst in Latin America, but by the globalists just simply using the, the ghost of some type of La Reconquista uh, as the cultural football game. Again, people get into football games that don't matter. It's the same thing here when that's not even what's happening. It is America being turned into the maquiladores. It's America being turned into a giant service land collapsing wage cesspool with hyperinflation.
with total 24-7 race baiting by the Democrats, where they're running some multiracial Cheerios ad, and they said the conservatives will hate this because there's black people. I mean, just constant manipulation. These people are the party of the Klan. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. What's making Americans sick and fat? It's too many GMO foods and toxins destroying our digestive systems, causing poor digestion and suppressed immune systems. A suppressed immune system prevents clear thinking and the ability to fight the corporate and big pharma agendas. Detox now with Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM1 liquid probiotic is wheat, dairy, and soy-free, gluten-free, and made with all non-GMO certified organic ingredients. Pro-EM1's power is based in good bacteria, live microbes, and all their metabolites, including vitamins, amino acids and enzymes that support a healthy digestive system, suppress pathogens, and eliminate toxins. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Life's getting better. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest to you. We've all heard as long as we're not doing anything wrong, we don't have anything to worry about. But what do we do when the people that told us that become lawless and use our cell phones to violate our constitutional rights? Get a privacy case from privacycase.com today and stop this high-tech iron curtain from crushing our right to privacy. The American-made privacy case uses military-grade shielding technology to stop these criminals and thieves in their tracks. Privacycase.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind People have to admit they've been conned The average health care price has already doubled Just five months into Obamacare It's set to quadruple by 2014 It cuts the quality of care but it doesn't matter. On average, I've got the polls right here. I'm going to be going over them. The average, quote, minority who's an immigrant or has become a citizen even recently, 80-plus percent, vote for socialism, for communism, 
or literally taking my guns, taking your guns. And I'm sorry, people on average that come from China, people that come from Mexico, people that come from Eastern Europe, uh, folks that come from all over, they're not used to owning guns and they're used to government telling them what to do. And man, a government's going to give them some free welfare and stuff. And, 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 the, and MSNBC tells them the white Americans hate you. Show them, get their guns. And they go, the government's my friend. All right, I'm with the big government now. I'm going to vote to take everything you got. I'm going to vote for higher taxes on you. And then it's a bunch of offshore criminal banks publicly militarizing the police, setting up martial law, making the presidency a dictatorship, and using outside groups to come in and get free everything and vote to take our guns, our children, everything. The Democrats are going to bring in a national draft, too. We're going to have to serve them as military slaves. We're going to have to supply our kids to the empire now. I mean, this is a sick system, folks, where you can bring people in to vote to make people slaves. That's why we have a Bill of Rights, so that people can't vote. Democracy, a pure democracy, is two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. If there were two wolves and a sheep, uh, one was named Bob, one was Ralph, and one was Tom. Okay, and Tom is the sheep. The other two guys, uh, the wolves, vote, and, and, and the sheep says, well, I'd like to eat some grass. And the wolves say, you know what? We're going to veto that. There's two of us. Muttons on the uh, list here, lamb chops. Lamb chops. And we're like, hey, it's democracy. Don't be racist, sheep, against the wolves. And this is how the globalists have always operated. When the Democrats were the majority in the Ku Klux Klan, they ran their political systems to oppress whites by saying, well, at least we protect you from the blacks. And then when the whites didn't put up with that, they said, okay, we'll be the racial politics now with the minorities. And it's just, it's just sick. And by the way, all those folks on MSNBC know exactly what they're doing. Just like George Soros knew what he was doing when he was a teenager, running around collaborating, ferreting out hidden Jews. But he's a liberal and gets awards from the Jewish groups. Because if you are a Nazi collaborator, you're good. If you fight a modern fascist takeover, you're bad. And you've just got to learn this, folks. You've got to learn how the mafia government works. So uh, truth is self-evident. That's why I was going to come on air today and say the Republicans are committing suicide. And this is a public execution of the republic and look at all the other stuff that accompanies this what message does it send if you tell tens of millions of illegals here that are already legal they do a few show deportations that are already here illegal what does it do if you say you're legal even if you're a felon you come in and pledge you won't be a felon anymore kind of like john corzine but if you if you're deaf and walking away from the police they'll kill you that's okay, but you know, if you're illegal aliens committing felonies, that's all right. Aggravated felons, rapists, arsonists, you name it, they get to be legal too. Read the legislation. What's going to happen with 700 million Latin Americans, because that's the group that can get here the easiest. What's going to happen when 700 million Latin Americans hear that? Well, you, you already see a record influx of illegals pouring in. And man, I, you know, I'm tired of reading in the back of the paper where people are getting mugged and carjacked and killed and on the ranches. I know three different people that have been deer hunting the last two years in South Texas. We're talking 50, 100 miles away from the border who have been mugged in the dark walking to their deer stands or attacked at gunpoint. Even though they have a gun in the deer stand and robbed and pistol whipped by illegals. I have an article today where a university, I'm going to cover this, is not going to allow... When they have crime alerts, they're not going to say what color the person is because most of the people in this particular city that are seen mugging and attacking and then they announce, the police announce, be on the lookout through the university alert system for a black male red jacket you know, driving a yellow truck. No, no, no. You can say a man driving a yellow truck. There it is. You students want crime alerts to avoid using racial descriptions. Hey, the media already does that. Unless it's a what? Devil white. And folks, you know I've never been one of these white this, white that. But they're, they're forcing it. Literally, 
Literally, if you're white, you're the devil. Unless you're John Boehner, and then you're fine. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We're on the march.